Hello everyone, welcome to virtual counseling session with Oxford Brooks University. I hope you are safe and well. I am Mohammad Rajani, Managing Director of PCL Global. I am joining you from Portsmouth, UK, South Coast of England. TCL Global is an educational consultancy firm, head of is based in Portsmouth. We have five offices around the world. We have our regional office in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh City. We have our um, office in Kuwait, Kuwait City, and two offices in Bangladesh, uh, in Dhaka and Silet. TCL Global officially representing around 70 UK universities. We helped more than 3,000 students last year. We're the largest educational consultancy firm based in southeast of England. And our services company of Chinese. I have a guest with me, Alexandra Sena, Global Recruitment Officer from Oxford Brooks University. Thank you very much, Alexandra, for joining us today. Hi, Mohammed. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, as you said, my name is Alexandra Sena. I represent Oxford Brooks University. And I'm very happy to be doing this with TCL because uh, we've been working together for so long and we really trust the service that TCL provides and the assistance that um, uh, the EU as an agent provides to our students. Really Thank appreciate you. it today. Thank you. So it will be nice to know a little bit overview rather than going for presentation. We'll go presentation in um, uh, in five to ten minutes time. So it will be nice to go a little bit overview over the Oxford Brooks. Yeah. Alexander yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm going to be showing you a presentation about Oxford Brooks uh, University. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the, the main courses that we offer, uh, the, the entry requirements, um, a little bit about Oxford also, Oxford as a city for international students. Okay. And it's a very uh, brief uh, pre presentation for, for your students. Okay. So, uh, you know the lockdown that uh, lots of questions um, are being asked to our colleagues. Um, whether should we apply? What's the situation about the September intake? And should we delay our study? So, what would be your advice to the students who are actually interested to apply to Oxford Books University? So, th th this is a very um, critical situation. and. Um, it's a very important question. Um, at Oxford Brooks, we've been meeting almost every day with the senior management. We are in constant meetings, online meetings, to discuss uh, the situation, to be really updated about what's going on and what the, the future probable scenarios could could um, happen in, in for, for this coming September. So, as of now, as a group, as an institution, we are working all together for the September intake to go ahead. So from, from, from the meetings that we are having, from the, the government uh, information, from the rules that have been implemented, all indicated, indicates that we are going ahead with the September intake, all going well and things um, uh, going forward, um, we are we have no plans to um, either cancel or postpone our September intake. So as of now, we are working for for the September intake to go ahead. Okay. Yes, the viewers who just joined, um, please contact our team in Bangladesh, in Kuwait, and in Saudi Arabia, and myself in. Portsmouth UK. So if you want to know more and if you want to apply for Portsmouth in, uh, for the Oxford Brooks University, our colleague can help you. Um, about the application process, so that means they can apply and the uh, application being processed uh, as normal, isn't it? Yeah. As per normal, yeah. All of our admissions team um, is working from home, as I am working from home. So we have the whole of our team. Uh, still working, working from home, and we are receiving uh, applications. In fact, we haven't seen any reduction in applications. So the applications continue um, uh, to, to come and we are processing them. In terms of um, feedback, um, we can expect a little bit of a further uh, wait for, for a feedback. But usually it doesn't take more than two weeks for a student. If the application is very straightforward, uh, we've, we are receiving um, the applications and issuing the offers, um, usually on the same, same time frame. 
Okay. Only if, if the, 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 the application is a little bit more complex, it might take a little bit more time because the admissions teams are working from home. But mm -hmm. as in general, everything's going um, as it was before. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, the Oxford city is very, very prestigious city and well-known city uh, for its yeah. education. So, uh, if you can tell a little bit about the city itself to the students, why should they choose and why should they come to study in Oxford? Yeah, uh, I, th I think the, the it, it is a, a privilege to, to be in, in such a historic city. So, Oxford is not only... Um, a city dedicated to students, uh, but it's also a very historical um, city, very beautiful. 25% um, of the adult population is actually students. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the city revolves around the student life. So the, the, the bars, restaurants, um, the amounts of libraries, museums. So it's, it's to live in a very historical, beautiful, safe, very green uh, place and having the opportunity to have access to so, so much in one small place, a, small, a place considered very small. Um, and I, I think another very, very good advantage of studying in Oxford is the fact that we are very, very close to London. Mm. So we are about an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes. Strong links, uh, transport links to London um, with easy access from and to Oxford. Um, and with the advantage of living outside London, which um, it is a very, very expensive city to live in. So living in Oxford, you have the advantage of being in a place that's dedicated to students and um, more uh, cheaper to live here, uh, more affordable than living in London, and it's still with the advantage of being in London at any time, any day. And also, I think it's got good links with the south coast of England, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, also for for the airports um, in London, we have three airports, and we have links here from Oxford links to all of the airports. Mm. So as I'm, I'm going to show in the presentation, we also have the, the services to meet and greet students when they arrive from, from overseas. Mm. We um, look after them from the point that they arrive in the UK to the end of their studies. Okay. Thank you, viewers who have joined. Please, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask the question. We'll try to answer your questions. Uh, just to let you know that TCL Global is um, going to arrange virtual fair in coming month, in June and July. Uh, please contact our team and you can find our details in the website and also in our Twitter Media. If you want to be in touch directly with the Oxford Brooks University, personally, if you want to talk one to one, you have the opportunity. So you can contact our team. Our team will help you. Our team will arrange for you. Uh, so it will be nice to know, uh, Alexandra, about the foundation option because, especially for Middle East and some Bangladesh students, after the higher secondary, they have to join the foundation. What are the foundation options they have? We have um, over two hundred uh, options um, of uh, courses. Well, in foundations, we have foundations from engineering programs to business programs. And the good thing about the foundation um, for, for students from Bangladesh, um, we do have that program that um, assists the students who don't qualify to go directly into the first year of the university. They mm. could still study in the UK, but during first uh, this pathway, this foundation program, mm. in which the students uh, acquire the academic um, uh, uh academic requirements that they need and also the english language um requirement in order for them to be accepted into what uh, is the score sorry what the ielts score required for foundation and in uh, how many intakes so we have two types of uh foundation so during the presentation i'm gonna specify that a little bit more in, in details but uh we have the the standalone foundation that 
we call it standalone. So the students apply for for the visa to come for this one year, and then they they have to renew their visa. Yeah. So for those uh, for uh, standalone foundations, the entry requirements are a bit lower. So okay. five point zero IELTS. But we also have the integrated foundation, which is a four year program. So it's already uh, the three year visa for um, the bachelor's program plus one year of the foundation. So for that, that program, you don't have to have higher IELTS, minimum okay. of 5.5. That means the students can get like a four years, four months visa and integrate exactly. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so th this is. Uh, I, I think this is a great um, opportunity for students who have uh, higher, um, don't quite make it to go directly, but have a higher academic um, uh, uh, scores and also um, a better level of English. They can go for this integrated foundation, which is a four-year yeah. visa, one visa only, and then you are sorted during your studies. I think it's a fantastic uh, opportunity, I think, for the viewers. Um, if you're considering foundation and if you want just integrated CAS and uh, applying for a four years, four, uh, four months, you get the visa. It is a great opportunity, great options Oxford Brooks University offering. So please contact our team. Uh, our team can actually assist you with the applications and advise you on our services completely free of charge. Um, viewers who are, who are actually watching us from the Saudi Arabia, please contact our Riyadh office. Viewers from the Kuwait, Kuwait office and offices, uh, we have two offices in Bangladesh, Dhaka and Silet, and uh, myself based in Portsmouth, UK. So we can help you with your applications. And we are the official partners of the Brooks University. Thank you, Angela. So if you go to the undergraduate, so undergraduate, how many intakes do we have? Then is there any placement for undergraduate application process? It would be nice to know. Yeah, there, there is a, um, we have the main intake is September. So the major all of the courses are offered actually in, um, in September. We also have a January intake, um, okay. which we have uh, many, many courses available. Not all of the courses are available, uh, but the, the, the vast majority, the, especially the business programs we have, uh, January intake. Um, so when the students don't um, don't have enough time or don't something happens and they, they cannot come in September, we have this op the, the option of the students deferring to January. So we have uh, both intakes September, which is the main one, but a very, very uh, good uh, opportunity for students who don't make it for September. They can still come, but uh, in January. So, so undergraduate, how many courses roughly, um, Alexander? So uh, the list, um, what I would like to, 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 mm -hmm. to ask you, so when we finish this presentation, if I receive, uh, I can send you the international guide so that yeah. you can distribute to, to, to students who are interested yeah. in the, there you can find the full list Okay. of all of the courses that we offer, but it's um, over 200 courses. Okay. So I think it's undergraduate, you mean, yeah? Undergraduate. Undergraduate and postgraduate, yeah. Okay. I think it's, or, a, it's, a, it's a really, I would say, sorry, um, great opportunity and very unique, I think, because not many university offering undergraduate in January, you know? So I think it's, it's, it's something, especially this time, uh, huge uncertainty with the September. We don't know. We'll have a more clear picture in June and July time. But yeah. January time, lots of courses, undergraduate courses is being offered by Oxford Brooks. So please, yeah. our team, our team will help you. It's a beautiful city, great city. I visited and uh, it's a great city to live and study. Okay. So we have been very closely working with Oxford Brooks. Um, so it would be nice to go now a little bit talk with the masters students again they can study in january and september uh, also yeah the duration of the master's course how long alexander so we also for masters we have an option for students who don't quite make it for um direct entry so we also offer pre-masters programs okay. So uh, this is uh, good for students who uh, don't qualify to go directly into uh, a master's program.
So we also have a, a vast list of masters available in January. Okay. But as you said, with this new situation, we we have to see um, prospective future scenarios. Um, so there, most likely, we will be offering even more options mm -hmm. for January intake for this coming January that we didn't use to offer before. Mm -hmm. So for so for for masters, we have the the option of one year masters. Yeah. So those these are for students who qualify to go directly into their um, to directly into their studies. So this is one year study with an option of going for a two years with work placement. Mm -hmm. And we also have the integrated um, masters, which is the pre masters plus the the, the masters altogether for students who don't qualify to go directly into a masters program. Okay, fantastic. So um, about the, um, the duration, is like a one-year duration or is there any placement with the masters? So the students uh, have the, the option for, for the courses that uh, offer that option to either go for the study only and that last, is going to last uh, an e one year hmm. or students have the option to go for the work placement. In okay. that um, in that case, the students would uh, be here in the UK for two years. The okay. program would last two years: one year for the course itself, and two years, and plus one year of work placement. I think it's a it's a it's a great um, opportunity, especially privately funded students who are coming from the South Asia, and also I will say that students who actually uh, joining and joined us from the Morocco, Egypt, Tunisia, Jordan. Um, you can have the course is two years duration. That means you can have a two years four month visa, and plus you got the post study work two years. So that means if you come for the masters, you can stay in the UK up to four years four months. So uh, I think it's a very unique opportunity. I would say that if the course duration is two two years, I think very few universities offering um, the two years course so with the placement. Yeah, and to be honest, uh, the majority of our students, especially students from Bangladesh, from India, they go for that option mm. of uh, um, the, 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 to, for the, the, the work placement. Mm. And now with the, the post-study working visa being announced, yeah. it's a further opportunity for the students to get the, the experience that they need to really, really succeed mm. in their career, uh, career paths. Yeah. So after two years of one year um, master's plus work experience, work placement, the students also have two more years in order for them to work full time, work mm -hmm. anywhere in the UK and get the experience that they need to, to succeed. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I think this is fantastic. It's a very great um, option, I think, for the international students. Um, we'll be touching a little bit PhD, then we'll go for a presentation, a quick presentation. PhD, a lot of students, especially for the Middle East market and other market, they asked, whether there any scholarship and uh, the best way to apply? Whether we can connect, we need to connect directly with the supervisor or we need to apply, we need to go through the normal application process. Yeah. yeah. So you, usually um, it differs from year to year. So this year we had the early, what we call the early bird scholarship. Mm. So before we knew that all that is currently happening, we had launched uh, an early bird scholarship. So that scholarship was uh, 2000 pounds um, automatic discount mm. for every student who accepted their offers and paid their deposit by the 15th of April. Okay. So uh, th that scholarship has uh, now ended. Um, mm. We haven't heard anything uh, uh, regarding extra uh, scholarships that will be available for September intake. However, for January intake, we should have a scholarship scheme announced um, more towards the end of the year. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. So um, we can go for the quick presentations. Okay, so if you share the screen, it will be great. Yeah. Okay. okay.
Can you see my screen? No, actually it's not. Um, no? Mm. Okay. There is a share button. I've clicked on the share button. Mm. No? No. Share yes. screen. Yeah. Share screen. Yeah. yeah. No? Maybe. If there is a technical issues, what we can do? Uh, yeah. Do you want to share from other computer? So you cannot, you cannot see my screen because no. I, I have the, the button clicked. Um, okay, the screen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the presentation now, yeah? yeah. Right. So it worked. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, all right, okay. So, um, so this is, um, uh, it, it's gonna be a very, very quick presentation. So here you can see um, my um, my details. So if your students uh, want also to get in touch directly with me, you can. And my name is Alexandra Sena, and my email is there. It's asena at brooks.ac.uk, and I'm uh, responsible for the international recruit. I'm an international recruitment officer. Uh, for Oxford Brooks University, and I work uh, uh, mainly with students from South Asia. But what I would like to also say to your students is that um, although they can contact me uh, directly, um, they, they can also uh, trust fully that the counselors from TCL are fully um, competent to, to, to to guide them through our courses, through our um, admissions process, our application process, okay? So, um, so, um, so in this presentation, uh, we are gonna see a little bit more about Oxford Brooks, the facilities that the university offers, our accommodations, uh, the sports and societies, um, how the, the 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 focus how we focus on teaching our departments a little bit of entry requirements and our uh, work placement so Oxford brooks as an overview it's a very very modern university um uh, very recently uh, more than 150 million pounds um has been uh, invested uh, at the university we are very proud to be a fair trade university. Um, we are also very um, well ranked um, within um, uni uh, university sports in the UK. And we also are known for being career focused. A career focus, our degrees are career focused. And we have very, very strong links with industries and we offer work placements and internships. So, as I said, um, you, uh, Oxford Brookes University is considered a very modern university. So, it's um, less than 15 years old as the university, but our history dates back from 1865 with the foundation of Oxford School of Art. Okay, so even though we received the title of a university in 1992, so we are fairly young university, we have a history back to 1865. And here on this picture, you see um, the, the entrance of our main campus, which is the campus in, um, in Headington. So in total, we have four campuses at Oxford Brooks, uh, but this is the main one. So in terms of location, uh, most of the students are, um, as I said at the beginning, are familiar with London. So you can see uh, that we are Oxford um, here. It's uh, about an hour, an hour and a half from London. And we also have links to, 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 um, to the airports 
Gatwick Airport and Heathrow Airport. Um, so one hour from London, also uh, two universities in one city. Um, why I, I, I put it there? Because I'm sure your students um, are very familiar with the big and famous University of um, Oxford. Hmm. Uh, it, it's great to be located uh, in a city that has the history that uh, this city has, especially because of the University of Oxford. Yep. But we would like to, to, to make it clear that we are two separate institutions. So there's the University of Oxford and Oxford Brookes University. Yeah. So um, Oxford is a city. Um, we have about twenty-five percent of our uh, of the adults living in Oxford is uh, of students. Oxford is also a center for industry and enterprise. We have many many uh, industries. Uh, for example, like BMW located in in, in Oxford. And also, students from Oxford Brooks, they have access to the Bodleian Library, uh, the library from the Oxford University, okay. uh, University of Oxford. Okay, so students have access to the uh, Bodleian Library. And also, students from Oxford Brooks, they can become members of the Oxford Union, which is a okay. very, very prestigious um, union to be part of. Okay, that's, that's a good, really good option. Yeah, so here's us just some facts. 17% um, of our students are international students. So we have, um, we are considered a very, very international university with students from over 140 countries. Um, we are the only UK university ranked in the top 15 institutions under 15 years old. So uh, within um, the universities under 50 years old worldwide, we are the only um, UK university um, in the top 50. 94% um, of, uh, of research at Brooks is internationally recognized. We are number one young university in the UK for teaching and research. Um, and Oxford is um, in 2017 was uh, considered the sixth safest university in the UK. So this is uh, good for for the parents who are concerned about the safety of their of their uh, children uh, studying in Oxford will be in a very very safe place. So in terms of facilities, uh, the university offers a career center. So as I said at the beginning, we are um, a, a university. Our courses are very much um, career focused. So what um, we have um, that uh, enables us to, to, to focus on careers uh, is to have a dedicated department for um, for work placement and to advise students on how to prepare uh, for, for, for a job interview or how to, to, to get a work placement. Yep. So this is done by our career center. We also have on the main campus a medical center for, for our students. Mm -hmm. We have sports center all on campus. We also have a, a Brooks bus service this is a, a, a bus service that uh, used by the community in Oxford. Uh, it goes to all of our campuses and also to the city center. And that's uh, for our students who live in our residences of hall, uh, halls of residences. This service is free of charge. Okay. And also on, on, the, on the campus, we have bookshops, we have a bank, we have cafes, restaurants, and we also have a weekly market. Okay, so accommodation, so for uh, this is especially important for our international students. Um, we have 12 halls of residences in Oxford. Um, also, we have um, accommodation that is dedicated to postgraduate students. So our students, they, they can stay if they wish, separate from, from undergraduate students. 
Uh, the majority of, the, of the, our rooms are en suite, uh, but we have different options, uh, different prices. Uh, but we have on campus um, on campus uh, accommodation that's five minute walk to, to the campus and we also have accommodations that are off campus also walking distance or if the students need the public transport they can use our um, free of charge bus service that will take them from their accommodation to any of our uh, campuses and the accommodations uh, all of the bills are included um, water gas um, internet and also uh, as i said before the free bus pass Okay. Um, it's included in the accommodation service. Uh, societies, uh, so we are very proud that we have over a hundred societies. Um, in, in, in the UK, this is very common as mm -hmm. it's in the US. So students, they, they organize their groups uh, by, by their interests. So we have all sorts of different types of societies that um, for international students, I believe it's um, even more important because they can keep their their um, their interests. Um, they can build their own societies, or they can uh, take part on the societies that they 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 feel um, um, more um, uh, related to. So we have Indian uh, societies, uh, Hong Kong. We have rock societies, law. Uh, business study society, so it's a whole range um, uh, uh, of uh, societies, types of societies. So, um, in regarding to in regarding to teaching, uh, we have the academic advisors. This is also to give uh, support to students, especially international students who need extra support. Uh, we have the uh, support coordinators. We have work placement and work-based projects. We have mentor schemes. Uh, we also offer free in-sessional study skills support, also free language modules for students who need an extra um, uh, assistance with their language. And another thing that I, I, I think is extremely important is that the fact that our library is open 24-7. So as you know, many of our students uh, work uh, part-time uh, during their studies. They are allowed to work part-time. And it's very convenient to know that if they uh, work, uh, that, that the work will not um, uh, prevent them to study and to access the university when they have um, uh, their time available for their studies. So that, that's a very convenient option for students who sometimes um, have to study um, during the night and even weekends. So uh, I think that that's a great um, uh, opportunity for students to, to take. So um, the types of the, the faculties that we have and the faculties in the department, we have four. So the biggest ones, the Oxford Brooks Business School, it's divided between uh, the Oxford Brooks uh, Business School and the School of Hospitality and Management. We also have the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences, uh, Humanities and Social Sciences, and the Faculty of Technology, Design and Environment. So Business School from, from, from Bangladesh, I, I, I put this um, as a um, as one of the main slides, uh, because uh, our Oxford Brooks Business School is the biggest school uh, with the, the, the most courses that we offer. Mm -hmm. So in total, uh, we have 2,500 undergraduate students, students, 600 postgraduate students, more than 120 members of the faculty, and 30% um, of our students from um, Oxford Brooks Business School okay. is international students. Okay. Okay. So these are just some of the undergraduate programs that we that we offer as business courses. So we have business and management, um, 
uh, enterprise and entrepreneurship, resource management, business management and geography, uh, also accounting and finance courses, marketing and events courses, and we also offer combined honors with uh, business management. Hospitality, which is also part of the, the, the school of uh, business school, is one of the, 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 the best uh, hospitality courses that offered that is offered in the UK. So we are the 18th best school in the world and fourth in the UK. That's um, uh, according to QS rankings uh, from 2018. Uh, we were rated the best school by UK employers. This is for hospitality, for the hospitality programs. We have more than 100 employers uh, that employ our students uh, every year from, from our hospitality courses. And we also have exclusive placement partnerships within the hospitality school. Um, so the business school, the, the postgraduate degrees. So I, I just chose master's international hospitality events and tourism management to give you um, an idea of uh, entry requirements. So the entry requirements can vary from course to course, but as a whole, in general, those are the, the main entry requirements. So uh, usually a student would have to have for a postgraduate program uh, equivalent to a 2.2 uh, honors degree in the UK. So that from the Bangladesh um, education system, it would be from 6.0 uh, GPA 6 or 60%. Okay. Okay. For IELTS, usually it's uh, overall 6.0, no less than 5.5 and listen in listening and speaking and 6.0 in reading and writing. Other, uh, other courses that are very, very popular with Bangladeshi students are the engineering programs. So we have both for undergraduate programs and postgraduate programs. We also offer top uh, top up degrees for students. So, for example, did their uh, first and second year um, of um, mechanical engineering um, in their countries, they can top up and do their final year uh, uh, here at Oxford Brook. So we have those options. So automotive engineering, mechanical engineering, motorsports engineering, and motorsports um, technology, undergraduate course, uh, the foundation program in engineering for students who don't qualify to go directly. So for students from uh, Bangladesh studying the, the Bangladeshi uh, curriculum, mm -hmm. all students would uh, require a foundation before um, progressing to, to to a bachelor's program. So for motorsports engineering, um, because we have so uh, many links with industry, uh, we organize um, we organize competition between our, the, the, the students. So here you can see some of the pictures of uh, the teams, the different teams that uh, the, the project was to build to, to come up with the design and build um, a Formula One car. So we have the Ferrari team, we had the Lotus team, Red Bull, and um, here on these pictures, you can see how um, hands-on the courses are. Also uh, computing. For the computing programs, we offer the foundation. We also offer undergraduate programs in computing, the, the, the most popular ones, computer science, computer science for cybersecurity, uh, robotics, and um, IT management for business. And also the postgraduate programs, masters in, um, in computing, computer science, also science uh, for cybersecurity and software engineering.
Is it finished? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, I, I clicked the, the wrong page. Yeah, okay, we have some questions. We can take some questions, yeah? And then once we finish, we as well. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna just uh, go very quickly. So um, regarding the work placement, so the majority of our uh, courses offer work placement. And uh, we have uh, students that go into work placement in, in co into companies such as Ernest Young, uh, the Four Seasons, Microsoft, PepsiCo, uh, BMW. So those type of uh, uh, industries that we work with. Uh, I've already told, uh, told you about the pre-masters uh, for students who don't qualify to go directly into a, uh, a master's program. For the pre-masters, uh, students would need an IELTS of 5.5 um, overall. And to go directly into a postgraduate program, they are IELTS usually around six. So it varies from course to course. Um, yeah, so the um, international guide that I would like to distribute to your students who are interested in finding more information about the full list of courses that we offer uh, and also we have more information about uh, the um, our accommodation with the prices and more information about all of the facilities that we offer and then also with more information about Oxford itself so yeah so sorry I think it, to, it took longer than no. I was expecting no problem. Okay, thank you very much, for actually, Alessandra, um, um, for the nice presentations. So viewers so who actually just joined us, um, so you can contact our team in the Bangladesh, Dhaka and Select. Our team is working from home because of the due to lockdown. And you can reach them through the WhatsApp and our email. You can find the details in our website. We are official partner of Oxford Brooks University. And the viewers actually is uh, joined us from Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. You can contact our office in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and also other part of the world. You can contact our UK office where I am based. Uh, it will be great to get some questions from the audience we've got here. Um, do you have an internal test? That is means as you know, every lockdown, I'll test at this lockdown. So does the Oxford Books uh, accept an internal test or an negative test? Sorry, I didn't get that. Um, is there an internal test um, that arranged by the Oxford group? In or English. English. Yeah, English. Yeah. That's one thing that uh, we, uh, the senior management <laughs> and our admissions team are in conversations to, to see if we can um, accept other forms of English, um, yeah. English tests besides TOEFL and IELTS uh, because we are receiving um, information from students who are having difficulties to 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 um, uh, to book their IELTS um, exams. Mm. So yes, uh, there might be, uh, and we will announce very soon uh, what the options are. But one thing that uh, our admissions team and the recruitment team are in constant uh, constantly uh, meeting and uh, giving the feedback from students. So um, we are starting to, to assess the applications on a case by case um, scenario. So it, it depends on from, from, what, from where the students are from. So uh, I think very, very soon we'll be able to, to offer other, other options. So we are in talks with the university in order to, to, to be able to provide um, um, extra types of tests that we, we will be able to accept. Okay, thank you, Amazon. Um We have another question. Is, is there any available scholarship offering for Bangladesh students? I think we covered something. Yeah, yeah. so the, the offer, the, the scholarships that we were offer, offering was to, uh, nationwide to all of the students, but that was a uh, um, uh, early bird scholarship that ended on the 15th of April. So if there will be any, any further scholarships for this year, uh, we will be um, informing the students, the applicants, and also we will be updating the agents 
But as of now, uh, uh, for September intake, we don't have any further scholarships. And for January intake, we should be announcing uh, the uh, scholarships in, in September, around September. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the viewers, um, if you have any questions that actually do you think that is not clear from this presentation, you can contact our team in Bangladesh, Dhaka, and Slo office. And also the viewers, you can contact our uh, UK office where my team based, where I am based. Also, uh, you can contact uh, our Kuwait office and Saudi Arabia office. Um, any fi a few final words from you, uh, Alexandra, before we actually uh, finish? Uh, anything that you want to add? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, I think from from my experience working with students, especially international students, I was. Uh, an international student myself. I think um, not only because of this situation, but as a whole, whenever possible, try to organize yourself, not leave for, for last minute. Uh, I think now better than, more than ever, uh, being able to organize yourself uh, with your, to have everything ready. Um, so if you really want to start in September to have everything ready no later than beginning of August in mm -hmm. terms of um, I'm talking more about the finance uh, finances, the, the bank statements and be ready because we don't know um, once everything goes back to normal, how, how, how long it would take for, for the home office to assess the applications and issue the visas. So there's another thing that students need to be aware of. Um, I think it's a time for um, to, to, to be calm and really organize and plan for your studies. Uh, be ready to be here in September, but if things don't, don't go as planned, we have the option for students to also come in January with um, more time to organize and to prepare. But I think for now, the most important thing is to be ready um, and um, focus. I think focus is the, the most important thing. Um, don't leave things for last minute. Uh, be ready for when things go back to normal. You have everything that you need in order to, to, to have um, a visa process and um, your, your coming to the UK very smooth. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. Yes, um, some of you maybe have already planned or just thinking. I understand that because of the lockdown, a little bit uncertainty. So what I am to say that we know that how important it is the education. If you have a dream to study in UK or for groups at any other university, so don't let this coronavirus take away from your dream, you know? So it's very important to have a plan. So you can contact, you always defer your um, intakes, you know, if you apply, there is no uh, problem for applying now, if you think the situation is not in favor, so you can always defer your course, you can join later on. Um, our team will be able to help you, it's completely free of charge. And next month we are running virtual fair. So please contact our team if you want to be connected with our colleague from Boxwood Books University and you can we will be able to personally one to one you will be have a session. So contact our team, our team will be able to help you. Um, also, TCL Global is working with a number of universities in UK. We are working with seven UK universities. The offices we have in Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and UK. So any of the offices you can contact if you need any further information regarding Oxford groups. So um, I I hope that you stay safe with your family. And uh, this uh, this crisis, uh, inshallah, will be over uh, very soon. Uh, take care. Alexandra, thank you Mohammed, very much. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, for me, it was a pleasure to, to be here with you today and be able to talk, uh, to, talk to your students. Um, please, everybody, keep focused. Mm. Um, don't, don't delay. If you are not sure if you are coming this year, uh, as Mohan said, you can always apply. If things change, you are free to defer your offer to either January or to the following September. But don't don't delay and don't don't give up on your dreams to study in the UK or um, and follow up your dreams. 
Okay, thank you viewers for being with us. It's really appreciate your questions and uh, you can always find updated information and you can follow our um, Facebook page, TCL Global Bangladesh page, TCL Global UK International page, TCL Global Middle East page, and TCL Global North Africa page. So you can find more uh, live session we have done with other university and upcoming university as well. So thank you very much for joining us today. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.